Hey friends, welcome back. Last week we did a five minute challenge that totally kicked my butt. I really struggled with it because I did a number of things wrong. So for today's challenge, it's another five minute challenge and I'm gonna try the exact same reference photo again, but this time we're gonna try to use what we learned from the last challenge and make it better. A couple of things that I totally did wrong in the last one was that while I did choose my colors ahead of time, which is good, I didn't pre-mix anything. I mean, is it cheating to pre-mix your colors ahead of time? Considering this is a totally made up challenge, that's just for fun. I don't think it's cheating. So we will pre-mix our paints this time and I think that'll help save a lot of time. The second most important thing that I did totally wrong was I should know better. I painted with watercolor for a long time. I did wet and wet. I pre-wet the paper. It was not dry and so everything just blurred together. Total amateur mistake. One other mistake I think I made was that I just spent so much time on the drawing that I had no time to paint. And truthfully, you can actually do quite a bit of drawing with your paint without using any pencils at all. So the three major things I'm gonna change this time are I'm gonna pre-mix my paints, I'm gonna draw with paint, and I'm gonna paint wet and dry. Okay, let's see how this goes. I've got my timer right here on my phone ready to go. Let's pre-mix our colors. As I said, I'm using that same cute little reference photo of this mini golden retriever puppy. And I'm gonna take some burnt sienna this time. I wasn't a huge fan of the yellow ochre. It was just too yellow. So we're gonna do burnt sienna and mix in a little bit of gamboge nova so that it's this nice reddish gold color. Ooh, I think that's way closer. And I wanna make sure I have enough of it so that I can cover the whole thing. And then I can easily dip into more of my pure paints while I work. I also wanna make sure that I spray my paints ahead of time so that they're wet, activated, ready to go. The other thing was a viewer pointed out the tongue looked like it got stung by a bee. It was so red, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. So I'm gonna take a second brush. Having another brush on hand I think will also help. And I'm gonna pre-mix some alizarin crimson with some water mixed in so it's not so bright. Ooh, that's gonna be better. Yes. Okay, so I've got my loaded brushes. Let me take a third brush. You might have to have unlimited brushes for this. I don't know. And this one is a Trakel size six synthetic Kalinsky sable brush. The other two are silver black velvet. They're my favorite. Okay, I think I'm ready. Take stock of all of your supplies. Make sure you're ready before diving in. Nope, I wasn't ready. Make sure you have paper towel. Guys, I'm learning right along with you. I make mistakes all the time and I'm right here sharing them with you all. Hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes and don't do the same thing I did in that last one. By the way, I'll leave a link in the description if you haven't seen that video yet. You can watch that one and laugh. I think we're ready. Before I jump in with the timer, I'm gonna have just a tinted wash of color on my brush. And with that, I'm going to draw the shape of the dog and then we'll go in with paint. Okay, so here we go and start. The clock is on. Okay, so quick little sketch with my paint of the ears, the nose, location of the eyes. I like this on an hourglass shape between the eyes. I think that's a helpful thing to grab onto when you're doing a really quick sketch. And just really, really watery paint here for this super fast sketch with paint. And then the little tongue and the body and the mouth. If you want, you could even straighten out the tongue. It's a little crooked in the image. You could always idealize it a little bit. So there's our rough sketch. Quite a bit of water already on the paper. Okay, I'm gonna take my pre-mixed color. I haven't switched brushes yet. And I'm just gonna quickly paint in a base wash for the ear carving along the side of the face, extending it a little further, and then adding the body. I'm gonna paint around the tongue for now. Oh, this is already going so much faster. Just skipping the sketching and just sketching with paint. It's kind of like if you already know how to draw, then you might as well skip that and just jump right in. Sometimes I paint from a live figure model with a group of artists and we're all painting and drawing together. And I found that with watercolor, it's such a fun challenge to try to just do the sketch with your paint. But using these really light tinted watches can help it feel a whole lot less scary. Oh, okay, so we blocked in the body right here. 
three minutes. We're doing pretty good. I feel a lot better about it this time. So now I'm going to take that pre-mixed color and just paint it all over the head, adding a little bit of water so it's lighter in value at the top. Yes, this is going so much better, I think. I mean, it could st I could still destroy it, don't worry. Still plenty of time to mess it up. Um, and now I want to get around these eyes as quick as I can because the mistake I made last time was that the paint around the eyes was still so wet that when I went in with the final detail with my indigo color for the black eyes, it just blurred everywhere and was an out of control mess. So I'm gonna to try to avoid that this time. And I'm painting with a fairly dry brush. So my paint is drying quite fast, which is a good thing in this case. Okay, let's take some more burnt sienna. Actually, I'm gonna take my already loaded brush. It's got some paint on it still. And now I can start adding some darker details, like the little curls in the ear, darkening up the side of the ear. And while I work on these other things, Everything around the face is drying so that I have enough time to go back in with darker paint and add those details without it blurring together is the goal. So I'm just using this darker color. It's actually really the same color, but I'm going over my initial layer again and it's adding a second glaze to everything so that it's going slightly darker. And so far, so good. I mean, it's not gonna look like a really finished piece because it is just five minutes. But let's go ahead and take our little brush with the pink on it, paint in the tongue. If it touches your wet paint, it'll blur a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that small brush with my indigo, and I need it to be creamy paint. It can't be too wet, otherwise it's all gonna blur together. So I'm going to take my creamy paint. Oh yeah, this is already so much better. Painting the eye. Got 40 seconds. We're doing pretty good. Wet on dry is the answer when it comes to painting quickly and directly in a situation like this where you don't have a whole lot of time. Oh my goodness, I already have 20 seconds left. I think I should have used a bigger brush for this. Okay, so quickly going to paint on the nose, 15 seconds. And as fast as you can, lay down the dark color wherever it's the most essential. Done! Oh, <sighs> okay, I can breathe again. So there it is. That one is still not great. I would love to have a little extra time. Five minutes is just so short, but it's a lot better than the first one, I think. If we put these side by side, I'll put those both on the screen for you to see. This one, I think, is just a lot more controlled. So yeah, again, five minutes is it's really hard to do something that's a full face of anything in just five minutes, but it totally can be done. You'll discover that when you have to work this fast, you just have to narrow it down to whatever is the most essential. And in this case, I think it was the overall color, the eyes and the nose, and yeah, that's it. So if I could go back in and add anything, I would definitely darken up the tongue. I would add a few more mid-tones so that it doesn't look quite so flat, but I'm pretty happy with that for five minutes. If you guys really like these timed challenges, check out the next video that's in the queue. That one is 10 minutes and I think it's got a little more breathing room in it. So I'll see you guys over there. Thanks for watching.